So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the top five most impactful books that I've read. I will also apply them to the five pillars of what it takes to become a well-rounded man. Let's start with the first pillar, gain control of yourself and others. This I learned from the 48 laws of power. Balancing your emotions gives you the power to control yourself and others. Now there are a total of 48 laws in here. They're all great, but here are the top three that I use repeatedly. I want you to implement. Law number nine, win through your actions, never through argument. Let me tell you a story. When you're young, your parents, your friends, they might not agree or even support you starting a business. When I was in university, my mom didn't want me to drop out. As a matter of fact, she would tell me that she would pray every day that I wouldn't make enough money with my business. So that wasn't an option for me. Her intentions were pure. So I finished my degree and I graduated a millionaire. This is what you should do. Find middle ground and then prove them wrong. Otherwise, you're all talk and they were right. This takes me to the next law. Number 20, never commit to anyone other than yourself. By maintaining your independence, you become the master of others. This way, you can make decisions from a position of strength and power rather than desperation, which takes me to my favorite law. Number 25, recreate yourself. This is the one that made me successful. So you wanna stay true to yourself and your beliefs. Even when you're faced with different opinions, you are the author of your own story. So if you believe something is right, follow through regardless of other people's advice. This approach will lead either to victory or a valuable lesson. You don't lose in either of them. And trust me when I tell you this works, this mentality is what allowed me to achieve 2 billion views. Using this mentality, starting from zero from my parents' home. And I want you to do the same thing because content creation is a high leverage skill that any of you can do, starting with zero followers and zero money. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that when we get into the financial pillar, but I want you to understand something. This does not mean it's going to be easy. I am 10 years into this game and I am putting more 18 hour days than ever before. That is what it takes. So if you aren't interested in putting in big hours, then don't even bother signing up. You won't make it past the vetting process as it is designed to only let those guys that are truly determined to do whatever it takes to make a difference in their lives. For those of you that think you're him, and you're that guy, you can click the link down below to reserve your spot. Launch will be November 14th, and it'll be the greatest video you'll ever watch. Because only then will you become a great man who can command respect in the most important areas of life. But to truly have influence over others, you need to develop a strong social presence, which takes us to our second pillar of becoming a great man, your social well-being. Use the Carnegie principles to learn how to handle people. This comes from the book on how to win friends and influence people. The three fundamental principles they teach provide you with the power to influence those in your closest circle. Principle number one, don't criticize, condescend, or complain. It can alienate others and lead to conflict. Instead, practice the art of Verstehen, which involves putting yourself in the shoes of others. Grab yourself a piece of paper and write down how you might feel if you were in that same situation. Then determine how you would like for it to be handled. Principle number two, offer honest and sincere appreciation when dealing with conflict. You wanna address problems first and then end it with an appreciative note. As studies show, this leaves people feeling empowered rather than discouraged. And finally, principle number three, my favorite one, arouse in the other person an eager want. Focus on fulfilling their wants rather than trying to convince them to do what you want. For example, don't try to convince your friend to come to a social gathering. Instead, try this. Convince him that cute girl he likes will be there. Watch how fast he shows up. These principles have been crucial in all areas of my life, especially in conflict resolution with my friends, family, and employees. However, there is one area that most men never know how to develop. It is their love life. And this brings us to the third pillar of becoming a great man. Use the masculinity blueprint to conquer your dating life. That comes from the way of the superior man. The masculinity blueprint is a step-by-step -step guide that will help you attract a high quality partner. This is essential for a successful man as she will provide foundational support and love in your journey to greatness. To apply the blueprint, first, 
identify a purpose that is more important than your dating life. That way, you'll avoid making the mistake, making your partner the center of your world. Second, you want to balance your masculine and her feminine energies. This involves strengthening your masculine qualities, which includes handling conflict, setting boundaries, being accountable, learning from mistakes, taking leadership, caring for loved ones, and open communication. And as you develop these masculine traits, your partner will naturally gravitate into a more feminine role, which will increase sexual energy and satisfaction within all of your relationships. And lastly, embrace the inevitable ups and downs of every relationship with masculinity, love, and humor to demonstrate emotional control. These methods have boosted my masculinity and my sexual marketplace value, enhancing my social interactions. However, there is another important area that plays a crucial role in increasing your sexual marketplace value. This is our fourth pillar, your financial well-being. This takes us to tip number seven, study the cash flow quadrant to become financially successful. This comes from the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. The cash flow quadrant is a powerful concept that explains the four pathways to making money. You have employee, self-employed, business owner, and investor. But here's the catch, two paths will keep you poor, two paths will make you wealthy. Employees are the E quadrant. They exchange time and skills for money and benefits. Self-employed individuals are in the S quadrant. They have more control over their job, but often end up burnt out because everything relies on them. The B quadrant are business owners who build systems that operate independently. This can lead to substantial wealth because now you're making money through your systems and not your time. And finally, you have investors in the I quadrant who make a passive income from assets that they have invested in. So your goal to achieve financial independence is to be a business owner and investor. And your steps are easy. You will start as an employee. Then you will transition into self-employed and perfect your skills. Then when you're working more than 40 hours a week, hire your first employee. Then you will use that additional time to hire more employees. You will then scale the business and invest the profits. As a business owner and investor, I have achieved more growth than I ever imagined. And it all started with one thing, learning how to create amazing content. It has taken me 10 years to perfect this craft. And I started with no money and no followers. And I will teach a few of you my secrets when we launch our academy November 14th. If you want to join our waitlist, the link will be down below. We have one more pillar to fully become a top 1% man. Use the startup methodology to successfully execute business ideas. This I learned from the Lean Startup. Easily one of the best business books you can ever read. Remember how I told you that I was going to teach you how to do this with no money? Here you go. The startup methodology is based on the build, measure, learn, feedback loop. When you learn this approach and implement it, you will learn how to quickly test business ideas and operate like a business owner that has had 10 years of experience. And this is how you implement. On the build stage, create a basic version of your product or service using little to no money. For example, if you want to be a YouTuber, use your phone to film 10 videos. Use Adobe Podcast to fix the audio quality. Use Adobe Rush to edit it. And use Adobe Spark to create the thumbnail. All those programs are free. And then for the measure stage, you will analyze the performance of your basic idea to see what is working and what is not working. For example, for the videos you just posted, look at the feedback on all 10 videos. Which idea got the most views and comments? That is your winning topic or niche. And finally, you have the learning stage. Use the data that you have analyzed to create a fully optimized product or service that is ready to scale and provide value. At this point is when you can invest in better equipment and look into hiring others that can help you. Now is when you dive deep into your new niche that you know works because you've tested the market. I want you to incorporate every single lesson that I covered because once you have done that, you will become a completely well-rounded man that is ready to pursue excellence. But don't thank me just yet because we're not even close to being done. We still have another three videos left in this series. The last video drops November 14th, which is launch day. It will be the greatest and hardest challenge yet. If you think you're up for it, you can join our waitlist by clicking the link down below. See you guys soon.